Hey guys, it's Flying Scorpion here, going back to the basics with Wraith again with PGAC number 31, if I got my numbers right. And uh, this is my first match in ranked mode where I go up against a couple of silver players. So I'm glad to see it happening. I'm finally starting to see some silver players. It could just be the fact that it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and those are the only players that were available to, to match me against, but hey. <clears throat> so uh, as you can see, I take movement speed and then I put the next uh, two perks straight into poison damage. And it works out pretty good during this match, but I'm rethinking that and I don't think that... Let me pause it right here to talk about the composition. Um, in the future, I don't think I'm going to put that much points into poison damage because... Um, I think that damage resistance is better to have and uh, poison damage really does well when you're able to hit all of the hunters or multiple hunters and against really good teams uh, you're often not going to get an opportunity to really capitalize on your poison damage by spreading it across multiple hunters because they'll be spread out so you want to play to the highest uh, skill level and expect high skill level play okay so enough about that let's talk about the composition um, Harpoon Man, whatever his name is, I forget. Harpoon Man is can be a pain in the ass if he's played really well. Um, I have been, I've played against Puggins uh, when he was using Harpoon Man. Why can't I remember his name right now? Anyways, and man, it tr it's a trigger, man. He is so good at getting those harpoons in your back <clears throat> at just the right time and really good at slowing you down and preventing you from running away after a dome. Anyhow, uh, Hank and Kyra. Um, if I go for Kyra first, uh, Hank is going to shield her and she's going to heal herself really well. If I go for Hank first, he can't shield himself, uh, but Kyra will heal him, so there's an easier chance that I'll get him down. However, um, Harpoon Man will be shooting me in the back, and that will make it a pain in the ass, uh, potentially. But if I go for Harpoon Man, what is his Griffin? Griffin. If I go for Griffin, um, they will be able to heal him and shield him, and that'll make it really challenging. But anyways, enough about that. Let's just get straight into it. I decide I'm going to focus on Hank first uh, when I start this match. So, uh, I had a couple good matches today, but let's... Uh, I played against a couple of ESL players, and I did record it, and I'm going to do a PGAC on that later, but let's focus on this one. I really like Weather Control. It's my favorite map out of the four maps that are available right now. I like using the Bog Wraith skin that I paid for in Legacy Evolve because it's got a nice green color, and it's good at camouflaging, or at least it gives you I don't know, some sort of camouflage, I guess, on a nice green map like this. <coughs> Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go to feed and I don't quite have it figured out just yet at the beginning of the match I'm like, you know I think I'm just gonna go like straight up here kind of the same route. I've been taking with elder kraken <coughs> Excuse me and I like going I think going straight down is a better option because um when the planet scan is finished you can sneak off and you can go either to the left or the right but if you go down the right hand side or down the left hand side it's pretty clear which way you need to move forward if you want to continue to feed um, and if you want to stealth you got to backtrack through areas that you've already fed and killed stuff and, and eaten so it's not that beneficial to you so i'm still going down the center lane here and i'm waiting for this this to go away and there it goes it just went away we'll back up just a little bit so i can replay that this right here i'm waiting for this notification to go away and then i know that they can't see me on the radar anymore now i start to sneak and i'm going to go up this way and i'm going to juke by traveling up through this green foresty area up over here but before i do it i'm going to stop and munch on that strider and I don't, I'm not too worried because I'm pretty sure by the time they discover that body, I'm already going to be up and deep into this forest area up here. Now, planet scans come down every 30 seconds, I think it is. So it makes it a huge pain in the ass. It's almost impossible to do uh, a full stealth from stage one till you stage up to stage two. It's, it's almost impossible. I think that the only way to really make stealth viable is to just stack move speed to get as much movement speed as you possibly can um, the way that the perks are designed you can get lots of smell range but i honestly don't think smell range is that helpful with stealthing because if they ping you every 30 seconds and you crawl at the pace of a glacier uh you're they're gonna find you like they're gonna be like oh he's right behind that rock 
So anyway, I'm almost ready to stage up here and I almost end up pulling off a perfect like stage one to stage. See how fast that planet scan. Man, the planet scan so frequently. There's no way I can do a full stealth. So here's where I give all. I'm fortunate to have a couple meals next to me, but there's the trapper right there. That is bad luck on my part. I didn't know that was going to happen. And one of the things I need to be mindful of is where I choose to evolve. This is a bad spot to fight for Wraith. It's wide open. So I'm going to get domed in a horrible position. Like this is really bad. I have this pillar that I can move around, but it's not really great. This is a bad situation. I have almost no armor starting the fight. I walk into that mine. I'm like, shit. Um, so I'm going to get a swing on that guy, get a little poison damage on him. He's not the support though. <clears throat> I see the shield go up and I go, oh yeah, that's the guy I decided I want to focus on, the support. I drop a supernova and he has jet pack fuel and he manages to get away. And I'm looking at my health and my armor and I'm realizing, you know what? I've already lost one full bar of armor or health. Uh, I don't know why the dome hasn't gone down yet. How much health damage do I need to take before this dome goes down? And I realize, you know what, just back off. Dome's going to go down very soon. There it goes. And I turn around and I traverse right into that fucking rock. And then I get harpooned. And I can't, uh, yeah, I just lose two traversals right there. So that was really unfortunate. I lost two and a half bars of health for fucking nothing. Um, I did get to stage two, which is okay. But this is looking really bad. And after this is after i just lost a couple matches against those esl players and so i was like oh man i might not lose this and i really wanted to win this match because i let me slow it down because these silver players might give me an opportunity to get enough points to crawl out of bronze elite into bronze destroyer league as the monster watch this juke Are you kidding me? That was so close. I can't believe it didn't see me. So, anyhow, we'll go back to normal speed now. And I'm thinking, should I start moving away normal speed? No, I'll sneak a little bit more. Just, just keep sneaking a little bit more. And now I decide, okay, time to start moving fast. Drop a decoy. There's the planet scanner, as expected, every 30 freaking seconds. So they know where I am. I used to really like sneaking. I used to really like playing the stealth play. I kind of miss that, but it's still possible to get like a quick juke. Like you can juke like really quickly. Right here, I'm gonna pause it. This is a really good spot to fight. I'm gonna go back, unpause it, right, right here. This spot is a really good spot to fight. I had a previous PGAC where I fought here uh, as Meteor Goliath. And right now, with the setup I have with poison damage, if the hunters cluster up down there and I drop a supernova and I manage to hit multiple hunters at the same time, they're just going to take sick damage and get shredded. So I'm just trying to get a few extra meals in here, and I realize they're going to come here really soon. And there's another planet scanner, and I think, you know what? Let's go back in this direction, make it look like I'm going to go that way. Planet scanner stops, so then I stop, I turn around, I start going this direction again. Just gonna look for a good opportunity to get a pounce attack on somebody. There's the assault. Can't believe it didn't see me. Sneak around. Can try to get into a good position to get a good pounce. And peekaboo! Ah oh, shit. So he shoots me just as I do it, but that's okay because his teammate would have shot me off of him anyway. And I initiate the fight. I feel really good about this. Um, I kind of surprised them. I'm not sure if they were expecting it. And this is a really good spot for me to fight. Um, they're just going to get shredded. I don't care if this is the trapper. I just know that this is such a good spot. I'm not going to really concern myself too much with any primary target. I'm just going to attack whoever is the most opportune target in front of me. I see that the medic is there and I have some gravity issues. You can see the physics engine just launched me up into the air for some fucking reason. Um, but anyway, still working on that medic. Medic's going down. People are taking some poison damage. As you can see, the damage is starting to spread out across all of them. They're getting splash damage. Assault, man, assault just got eaten hard. Uh, the medic was being shielded, and she's about to go down. She dies to poison damage before I even finish the animation. You see that yellow 500 right there? That's the damage that uh, a duck does. So, I learned a tip from Chicken Protector. He said, use your decoy to pincer around and trap them between you and the decoy, and that's what I did. Worked out pretty good. Thanks, Chicken Protector, for that tip. As you can see, I used it right there, and that helped me finish off for a nice satisfying victory here 
And let's see how many points I get. Two silver players versus a bronze elite and a bronze destroyer in their in their team as well. Let's see how many points I get. How far up the ranks I go. I go from there to there. And I go from rank 635 to 629. I have a long way to go. <laughs> this is going to take a long time. But anyways, uh, it was a fun match. And... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more silver players as I go up against higher skill level players. One thing I want to add is uh, when you're trying to get better at something like this, I think it's good to have a challenge that's just a little bit stretchy, just stretching you a little bit further than what you're used to. If it's too big of a challenge, like if you're playing against the ESL pro players and you're just learning monster, you're not going to really get a good opportunity to learn um, because you're just going to lose like really fast and really hard at stage one. So I like that about playing ranked mode is that as I slowly crawl up the rankings, even though I'm crawling up slower than I would like to, it's going to give me an opportunity to just learn and grow um, at a good pace for learning and getting better at monster rather than just hitting a brick wall and getting crushed by gold level hunter teams and trying to learn that way because that's a hard way to learn. I'll tell you, a lot of people will quit. They don't have the, pers the perseverance to push through that. But anyways, this is... Uh, Flying Scorpion with PJC number 29. If you like the video, if you got anything that you'd like to say, any compliments, any criticisms, any suggestions or advice, I'd love to hear from you as long as you're not being a jerk about it. Regardless, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.